a man's friendships are one of the best measures of his worth. Ignorance more frequently begets confidence than does knowledge, it is those who know little, and not those who know much, who so positively assert that this or that problem will never be solved by science. If the misery of the poor be caused not by the laws of nature, but by our institutions, great is our sin. I cannot persuade myself that a beneficent and omnipotent God would have designedly created parasitic wasps with the express intention of their feeding within the living bodies of caterpillars. The highest possible stage in moral culture is when we recognize that we ought to control our thoughts. An American monkey, after getting drunk on brandy, would never touch it again and thus is much wiser than most men. I love fools' experiments. I am always making them. At some future period, not very distant as measured by centuries, the civilized races of man will almost certainly exterminate, and replace the savage races throughout the world. Animals, whom we have made our slaves, we do not like to consider our equal. At some future period, not very distant as measured by centuries, the civilized races of man will almost certainly exterminate and replace the savage races throughout the world. I have tried lately to read Shakespeare, and found it so intolerably dull that it nauseated me. We must, however, acknowledge, as it seems to me, that man with all his noble qualities, still bears in his bodily frame the indelible stamp of his lowly origin. We can allow satellites, planets, suns, universe, nay whole systems of universes, to be governed by laws, but the smallest insect, we wish to be created at once by special act. False facts are highly injurious to the progress of science, for they often endure long, but false views, if supported by some evidence, do little harm, for every one takes a salutary pleasure in proving their falseness. How paramount the future is to the present when one is surrounded by children! A moral being is one who is capable of reflecting on his past actions and their motives of approving of some and disapproving of others. I am turned into a sort of machine for observing facts and grinding out conclusions. What a book a devil's chaplain might write on the clumsy, wasteful, blundering, low, and horribly cruel work of nature. What a book a devil's chaplain might write on the clumsy, wasteful, blundering, low, and horribly cruel work of nature. To kill an error is as good a service as, and sometimes even better than, the establishing of a new truth or fact. 